is The Wally Show, and at my church, we took this thing called a Monvi assessment, and what it was was kind of like a faith-based Myers-Briggs in the sense that it tells you about your personality traits, but then it goes a step further and shows you who you're most like in the Bible based on their traits and your traits and all of this science and algorithms and stuff. Very cool, and uh, we wanted to give you the opportunity to take it as well for free at uh, allwally.com, at allwally.com. Just click on the Monvi logo, and you can take Take your assessment and see uh, how it works out. Now, it says set up an account. Basically, you just put in your name, info, and um, uh, email address, but you're not signing up for anything. You're totally good there. All right, so uh, let's start with uh, Katie. Let's start with Katie because I'm fascinated by Katie. She's kind of OCD, very (laughs) sweet, hard worker, and I want to see what the test says about her. So first of all, who in the Bible did you come out most like? It said I was like Joseph. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Now, why uh, Joseph? What's the, the um, rationale it did it give you? said, an outspoken dreamer, Joseph overcame severe opposition many times in his life. However, God was with Joseph and honored his commitment to integrity and godliness. Wow. I know. That's Look a good that. one. I'm, I, actually, I'm starting to feel more embarrassed about mine. <laughs> it's okay. It gets worse. Oh, good. Yeah, Thank don't you. Don't worry about that. Um, it says, you're a natural leader. You're motivated to try to improve and fix the world around you. You pursue high standards, but... Um, even if it requires sacrifice, and this can make it t- hard to trust your feelings. What the hell is that bad? Oh, that, that's wait. not bad. <laughs> oh, you like to fix people. Okay, it says, it's a little annoying, but it's not bad. You intend to impose your standards of perfection on others. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Uh-huh. Now we are getting somewhere. Okay, so yeah, you are kind of a perfectionist, which is okay. Yeah. Uh, but so am I. Uh, yeah, hi, Kettle, you're black. Yeah, exactly, and so is Zach. So, I mean, the three of us are going to kill each other soon. Uh, so, uh, okay, but that's not that's not horrible, though so far. I like that. Yeah. Um, it says I'm practical, detail-oriented, which yeah, is true. that's true. I value traditions. You're logical, analytical. Yeah. Um, that all sounds like you. Yeah. It does say that you're more concerned with data and things than people. Is that, now, is that, do you think that's accurate? Because you can't stand to be alone. I know, you know, I think it used to be. Like, uh-huh. in high school, I was so gung-ho that, like, I wanted everyone to live by my standards, and this was a way to do it. I, I, that I understand. I have that same tendency. Like, I actually think the world would be a better place if everyone was like me. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? <laughs> I think it would be. No, but but I, I get that like self centric thing. Yeah, I've calmed down a lot more now. It's like okay, no, these are these are my rules, and if you don't do that, well, okay. I've actually learned to embrace differences. Like, and I and I'm finding that that's important for working and stuff with people because we all have our differences, but. When you respect somebody for what they do, it makes getting past any little things like your OCD uh, very, very bearable. And it makes it cute sometimes. <laughs> so is there anything that surprised you in this? Um, it made me wonder. It Like some things I knew. It said that sometimes... Because I get, like, I don't have a whole lot of deep feelings. Right. So it said sometimes you can, like, come across impersonal and unsympathetic or even cold. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. don't know. Good luck finding a man. <laughs> All right. So we'll get to uh, Zach's uh, Monvi because I really want to find out uh, his assessment. And again, you can take this for free at allwally.com and find out who you in, uh, are like, most like in the Bible. Uh, again, that's allwally.com. All right. So, Zach, what did you come up like? It said I was Timothy. Okay, what was Timothy? Timothy uh, was basically just a sidekick to Paul. Uh, Weird. (laughs) Boy, I wish I was Paul. I really wish I had come up as Paul. (laughs) Here's what's really interesting, though. It said he first encountered Paul uh, right when Paul got stoned and uh, left for dead by a mob. Oh, And he still stuck with Paul. Wow. And I kind of understand sticking with a guy getting stoned. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I've taken a rock or two to the head in my time, and you've always been there, and I love that, and I respect that. Yeah. What else did the uh, assessment, the mom, the assessment, tell you. Also, too, you can take it for yourself for free at uh, allwally.com, which I think is really cool. The Mombi people helped us uh, hook that up. It said some stuff that made me wonder if I'm in the right job, though. Really? Uh, it says you're a reader, so work with reading and writing. Well, that is true. Uh, you read voraciously yes. technical stuff. Yeah, it says if you're cooped up inside too long, uh, your soul starts to fade. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he takes his shoes off. And I'm reserved and quiet. Like, none of those things are good for a career in radio. <laughs> yeah, but for what you do <laughs> as a producer, do, right? yeah. it, it, that's exactly what you want. You think you need two of me? 
me in this room? <laughs> no. I, I think it's funny. It says, I generally lead others into right choices or at least avoiding bad ones. Not so much the case with you. Well, I, I don't. I often get you in yeah, trouble. Yeah, you hint and then leave. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. People think, like, I'm all this crazy guy or whatever. Zach is, I was the kid that would take the dare. Zach is the kid that never wanted to get in trouble, so he would dare somebody else to do something. And then he something and it's really funny and then walks out and I'm like oh that's good I'll okay we'll go that direction uh, but I will say that you are really good at helping me make good decisions sometimes because like there's times where I'm very passionate and I'll be like no <laughs> tell, tell them not to come on the show today you know and, and you'll be like look they're gonna be a little bit late it's okay I just want to you know it's think it for through. the listeners yeah you already did all the work for it yeah so I mean right. yeah that happened the other day actually <laughs> 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 all right so uh is, is there anything that surprised you or that you did not agree with in your assessment uh it said I sometimes struggle with self-confidence like huh. I think I'm one of the most arrogant people in the world. But you're in, the, inside. The difference about you is you're quietly arrogant. Like you're yeah. arrogant about the things that you know and the, the way you think things should be done. But I don't know that you have this massive self confidence when it comes to life. That could be. It, I think that could be the result of people in my life that constantly tear me down. Maybe mm, weird. Sorry, <laughs> that's me. I've destroyed you. That's my fault. What's that artist that feels bad for you? Uh, Sean Groves. Sean Groves. <laughs> Sean Groves actually told Zach that like he feels bad for him and that like like that he he wanted to just encourage him because he doesn't get that from me. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is nobody loves you more than me. No, this, you've I mean, been great. Yeah, you've been great to me. That's the funny thing. All right, so that's Zach's mom via te- assessment. Again, you can take yours at uh, allwally.com. We'll go through mine. And uh, just for the record, I did not come out as Jesus. <laughs> I know that's what you're thinking, but it didn't go that Spoiler way. Spoiler alert. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is The Wally Show, and we are going through our Monvi assessments. They're kind of a personality thing designed to help you learn about yourself so that you can learn about your faith. And one of the cool parts of it is you get to find out who you are most like in the Bible. And you can take the assessment for yourself for free at allwally.com. We've done uh, Katie's and Zach's. Uh, She was Joseph. He was Timothy. And contrary to popular belief, Wally did not come out as Judas. What? Uh, Yeah, what? (laughs) Shocker! Uh, So I was actually happy about that. That's all I cared about. Just don't be Judas. Don't be Judas. Please don't be Judas. I'll even take Thomas. Doubting Thomas? Fine. Not Judas. Uh, I actually came out as Jacob. Which you think, oh, that's cool. No, not so much. I I, I was not all that happy about that. Because when you see the assessment, it says uh, in Genesis chapters 28 through 29, the Bible tells the tale of Jacob, who is also known as the deceiver. <laughs> like, oh, oh, man, really? I'm the deceiver? Come on. Because of the whole thing about stealing his brother's birthright and everything. And then I'm like, well, what did Jacob do after that? I mean, there's a ladder, I, you know, <laughs> but like beyond that, I don't know that like he's well known for a whole lot of other stuff. So I, I'm kind of kind of bummed. But uh, some of the other things it said about me is that you're action oriented and fast paced. Uh, you're good looking. Oh, wait, that no. is not in there. Hey, what are you? <laughs> you jumped on that way too quick, Katie Rose. <laughs> No, I'm a good communicator. Uh, you're future orientated, innovative, and a visionary. I, I, I yeah, I guess. Uh, you're very people oriented, and harmony is important to you. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Hey, in my personal life, that's true. That, yeah. that is true. Like I, I care about harmony in my personal life. Work is a whole another ball game. Uh, you're structured, organized, and efficient. Okay, that's yeah. kind of true. Uh, you're driven to succeed. Uh, you know, it, it, your success comes from the values you were taught. I think that's true. Like, I yeah. was instilled a very uh, good work ethic uh, from my dad and my mom and stuff. This was the one that uh, surprised me. Is uh, Well, actually, it didn't surprise me because it's right on the money, and I was sad that it was. Uh, however, in quiet moments, you can feel worthless and worried that you're not making it. There you go. Little there, there's there's my uh, chink in my armor for you two to pounce on. Uh, so yeah, that that actually is true. Like when I'm alone and I'm quiet, um, um, uh, apart from the persona on the air or whatever, there are times that I have like massive self doubt. Like I'm not good at this. I'm not good at anything that I do, and and everything I do is pointless. So there you go. Because when we hear you say stuff like that, we think you're just exaggerate. Like. Because you're so obviously good at what you do that, like, when you... We thought you just wanted a compliment. No, no, no. I actually hate compliments. I don't know how to take compliments. But, no, that is, that is like, really uh, true. What's funny is you say that you you, you uh, go above board like that, like, with that uh, 
critique or whatever, but it says you have a tendency to manage your uh, image by overstating the truth, covering up your faults, and avoiding situations that reveal your weaknesses. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I just love how the two of you look so scared to say anything. You guys are both like, hmm. Hmm. Well, I think you're pretty open and honest about your weaknesses, actually. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I, d- I really... I'm a little sad. Yeah, again, you can take the test for yourself. See how you come out at uh, allwally.com. I, there's part of me, you know how like you have in the back of your mind the thing you don't share with somebody when you take a test or whatever because you have this delusion of grandeur and you're like thinking, maybe, just maybe, I'll be the one guy that comes out like Jesus. <laughs> and when that didn't happen, everything else is downhill from there for me. <laughs> so go take your assessment at allwally.com and see uh, who you rate uh, the closest to in the Bible. Uh, now, Katie Rose was um, uh, uh, not J- uh, Joseph. Yes. Uh, I was Jacob, the deceiver. Mm. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Zach, you were Timothy. Yes. Okay. And Betty Rock, who did you come up with when you took your Mon V? I got the same thing as Zach. I got Timothy. You got Timothy. Okay, really? so let's go through yeah. a little bit of that because I've kind of forgotten what Zach's was. Well, I mean, some of it is right. Some of it is Okay, well, so tell much. me what's right. Okay, it said that you love reading, which okay. is very true. I went to the library yesterday. Oh, my she goodness. read a book yesterday. Yeah. So. Really? Do you like to read? Yes. I never knew that about you. Yes. See, this is it. Inter- and I can't promise that I'll, I'll finish it, but yeah. I do like Or reading. understand all the words. <laughs> <laughs> but I like me some reading. I like it. it <laughs> what do you fun. like to read? Um... I like to read, you know, like Jane Austen stuff. Okay. And like or educational bu- books too, it yeah, seems. Yeah, like I read the Dick Really? Well, I read the <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not funny. No. Thank you, tag team Katie. <laughs> uh, no, I got the Dick Van Dyke. Um his book is what a autobiography, uh-huh. whatever it's called. Yeah. You like old that. guys. Like Yes, I do. <laughs> you do. I do. It, Wait a minute. It, it, but it now is, back to books. Yes. <laughs> no, it you is do. weird. I do. Yeah, I like do. you like Andy Griffith and yeah, all this other I stuff. Do. Okay, so what else did the test say um, about you that you agree the mommy said that test. I am reserved and quiet, which is not true. I mean, depending on my mood, but yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> I'm around you more, and there's a lot of like days I don't know what's going on with you. Yeah. Like you come in like all kind of crazy, and then in other <laughs> days you're like just like in a hole. It's weird. So I don't know. Yeah. It depends on my stress level. I guess so. Yeah. Um, I value structure and closure, which yeah. is true. Um, and it pretty much said I don't fly by the seat of my pants, which is very true. Oh, <laughs> what? No, you you never plan anything. Yes, I do. You are the worst planner. You're just not invited. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Katie Rose's surprise birthday party was the worst planned <laughs> undertaking. She kept changing it oh, on me. Oh, you Katie no. couldn't make up her mind. I couldn't do it. My anything. wife and I wanted to take over that. We felt so bad for Katie. We're like, Betty, Betty just, Betty, you just flew around. Had, no, I had it planned. Then she's like, hey, what do you think about going to the fair? So then I'm like, I don't want to plan for something that she doesn't want to do. Then you so make, we'll, you you have to, you have you know, to be Machiavellian and you have to direct that. Have you to have to be who? Ma- okay, you should get another book. <laughs> <laughs>